the two automobile giants are partnering. Toyota is bringing its wealth of experience and teaming up with the top electric car brand, Tesla. Toyota sold over 9 million vehicles last year, but Tesla boasts of the higher industry market value. Toyota has been in the business of producing cars for decades, and only recently announced its branch for creating electric cars. It seems like they've got it all together. What then is the basis of their partnership with Tesla? Stay with this video until the end to find out, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The official report about this partnership was broken by a reputable Japanese news site called Gosen Ilbo. It appears that the partnership between Tesla and Toyota has been in the works since last year, and is only just gaining worldwide speculation. This comes just as the partnership approaches its final stage. The major highlight of this partnership is that both companies may work together to produce a very affordable electric vehicle. The vehicle may cost as low as half the price of a regular electric vehicle. Toyota is set to provide the vehicle platform, which is the outer framework to Tesla. In return, Tesla will deliver some of the electronic control platform and software technology installed in its vehicle to Toyota. Toyota cars have earned a global reputation of ruggedness, while Tesla has quickly worked out a niche of ever-developing battery strength. Sounds like a perfect match. When the agreement with Tesla is established, Tesla will be largely able to dispatch a compact SUV electric vehicle at a very low cost, using the Toyota platform. It is expected that this partnership will also give Tesla an increased presence in Japan, so that it can sell more than the 1,000 units per year it was previously selling. At Battery Day in 2020, Tesla first mentioned their plans for a competent $25,000 passenger vehicle. Elon Musk said that he wanted to do something radical like the Cybertruck. He described what he had in mind as being something that would shock the world. He was confident that the mystery car would be compelling and would fit into the goal of affordability while still being fully autonomous. He calculated that it would take a short three years to bring the new vehicle to the market, going as far as specifically mentioning September 2023. We also know from Battery Day that its batteries will be lithium iron phosphate ones, the least dense and the cheapest battery type. This battery is one of the main contributors to the car's affordable price, and it should give the car 200 to 250 miles of range. We also know that Tesla's battery suppliers have a $6 billion investment in lithium ion projects, and have already started impacting the Model 3 in China. The proposed new model will first be offered in China before it makes its way down to the USA. If by then the new EV tax credit bill gets passed, the car could then get a price reduction to a ridiculous $19,000. If the government passes the Green Act bill, it would allow for $7,000 in tax credits for 400,000 Tesla vehicles. This would only happen if the new Model 2 hits US shores, with the new tax credits in place. For this, we have to be optimistic that the Model 2 really does get produced ahead of schedule. The Model 2 at this price will be a huge hit in the gas hatchback market, because that's the price range of the more popular gas cars. Even if the Green Act tax credit does not get passed for EV manufacturers in the US, the car would be $25,000, and it would still be a sweet alternative to the more popular gas cars around that price range that have been discontinued, like the Honda Fit and the Toyota Yaris. Keep in mind that the base Model 2 will only offer the essentials and minimal services. Any additional service would have to be paid for separately. Things like full self-driving software and a different paint color fall right under the additional service bracket. The company's signature drivetrain, safety standards, and battery efficiency will most likely be uncompromised in the new model. Add the capacity of over-the-air updates and the capability for full autonomy, and you realize just how great this vehicle is. The problem with that plan, however, is that among experts, there are several opinions that would be difficult for Tesla to find a way to sell electric cars at such a low price. This is particularly worth noting, especially when you consider that Tesla has already developed the Model 3 in 2017, the Model Electric Crossover in 2020, the exoskeleton of the Cybertruck, and is currently working on the Semi-Truck. After Battery Day, we have had no clear confirmation of Tesla's affordable, compact vehicle, but if reports of this partnership are true, it now looks like it may be purchased and may be produced in partnership with Toyota. This car would not be the first one Tesla and Toyota are building together. Back in 2012, an electric version of the Toyota RAV4 was the product of the first partnership with them. This came after Toyota bought a $50 million stake in Tesla. Sadly, the car sold less than 2,500 units in three years. After many disagreements and culture clashes, the car was discontinued. 
Tesla can also significantly reduce the resources and time spent on the innovation of its vehicle's integrated electronic control platform and operating system by using Tesla technology. In other words, through cooperation between the two companies, Tesla can reduce the cost and period of developing small electric SUVs, and Toyota's benefit is the gain of ECU and OS development. It aims for a win-win effect by reducing the time it takes for the two companies to compensate for each other's weaknesses, allowing them to focus more on their own strengths. With the fact that both companies have attempted this before and failed, there may be rising concerns in the automobile industry. Their 2010 partnership came to a complete end in 2017. The Japanese auto giant quietly sold off its stake in the US electric car maker, which was what ended a six-year partnership between the two companies. The stake sale firmly established Toyota Motors as a rival to Tesla. A Japanese auto analysis at Credit Suzy said, Toyota originally had a strong cutting-edge reputation with its hybrid electric vehicles, Akita said. But now the market considers them as a follower in the electric vehicles business, and maybe Tesla the leader in terms of brand image or reputation. Now, Toyota needs to recover its previous position. Toyota and Tesla first announced their alliance back in May 2010, which was about one month before Tesla's original public offering. At the time, the two companies struck that deal. Already established automakers were seeking to make more environmentally friendly vehicle models. This deal was supposed to give both companies an edge. As part of that deal, Toyota agreed to buy $50 million worth of Tesla stocks, and the two companies agreed to cooperate on electric vehicles, hence the failed Toyota RAV4. Tesla has developed beyond being the testbed for interesting electric vehicle technologies to becoming a fully-fledged competitor of traditional automakers in the electric vehicle space," said James Chow, Asia-Pacific Managing Director for Consultancy IHS Automotive. He also said that it makes sense that Toyota is distancing themselves from Tesla. This was said in light of Tesla and Toyota's fallout. According to a financial report published back in 2017, Toyota had 2.3 million shares in Tesla as of March 2016. They valued the stake at the time at roughly $538 million. For most of 2016, Tesla's shares traded at more than 10 times their 2010 IPO price of $17, which must have given Toyota a lot of gain at their point of selling shares. Despite this end in the company's alliance, the close reputation between Elon Musk and Toyota CEO Akio Toyota was maintained, which left room for a reunion between the two companies in the future. Tesla has Fermon Gigafactory, which is an automobile manufacturing plant in Fermon, California, operated by Tesla. Interestingly, the facility first opened as the General Motors Fermon Assembly in 1962 and was later operated by NUMMI, a former GM-Toyota joint venture. Tesla took ownership of the space in 2010. This shows how interconnected both companies are. Meanwhile, Tesla CEO Elon Musk wrote on Twitter on the 27th of March that the likelihood that Tesla will soon become the largest company in the world is higher than 0%. Although the context is not clear, it was also written probably within a few months, an expression that can be interpreted as referring to a period and was soon deleted. Currently, Tesla's market capitalization is around $700 billion, which is one-third of the world's largest market capitalization company, Apple. Tesla's share price continued to rise even after surpassing Toyota, which was the first in the industry's market capitalization at the time, in July of last year. Tesla in particular has a task to achieve economies of scale, with only 500,000 vehicles sold as of last year. If the alliance with Toyota is established, it can receive great power to expand mass production faster and at a lower cost. Putting all this together, we see that this partnership will become the most valuable deal both companies have entered, on paper that is. Will this alliance stand the test of time? Will this be their lucky break? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Thank you for watching one of our videos. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.